A facial recognition feeding system for cats has been developed by a mad scientist cat lover who says that it will monitor your cat's feeding habits. It's being marketed towards people who own multiple cats to determine whether or not one cat is being left out. He wants to apply the technology to a cat's litter box as well. This is not a joke. This is not a hoax. He actually developed the system after one of his cats got sick, and he just simply didn't notice that they weren't eating. And so instead of, you know, just paying more attention to the animals that he's supposed to be taking care of, he decided to build his facial recognition feeder to monitor whether or not one particular cat is not eating enough. Oh, my gosh. Yes, this seems like something straight out of the onion, but it is true. It falls in line with the USB paper towel holder. Have you seen this? This is in the Sky Mall, that popular catalog that is in every airliner. No, somebody actually built, developed, and is selling for $50 to $90 a paper towel holder with a built-in USB port. Oh, that's right. It's just so hard to just plug them into the wall. You need it on your paper towel machine, right? Another case of mad scientists just overthinking. Have you heard of the Wi-Fi water bottle? That's right. Apparently, people are getting so dumb, they need a Wi-Fi water bottle with an app on their smartphone to tell them when they should be drinking. That's right. They uh, built this Wi-Fi water bottle to help you understand when it's time to hydrate. A couple years at the Consumer Electronics Show, a company unveiled their Smart Fork. It's a USB fork that monitors how fast the obese pigs in America move the fork back and forth from their mouth to their plate and how many times, probably at what time, uh, and then you plug it in and your computer analyzes your eating habits. Oh, as if people needed more, uh, you know, something to point out the fact that there's, you know, eating too much and obese. You need that Wi-Fi smart fork, right? So facial recognition has run amok. The facial recognition feeder. Maybe you have heard that Match.com, the popular internet dating website, launched the feature to help psychos find uh, matches that look exactly like their exes. L literally. And I've been talking about this was going to happen for a long time. And now it has. It's, right now it's a special part of a big package that apparently people waste $5,000 for some special six-month membership in some uh, service that incorporates this technology. So if some psycho wants to find an ex or find a, a, f a date that looks like their ex... They use Match.com's new facial recognition system. Yeah, as I have pointed out in the past, hotels are installing, have been installing, <laughs> have installed facial recognition systems to ID anybody who just steps foot into the lobby. And stores, particularly uh, at least high-end stores at this point, are using facial recognition systems to identify celebrity customers. That way, if somebody celebrity walks in dressed as an ordinary person, uh, the system will spot them in case they're not recognized by the staff who might just ignore them, thinking that it's just some random peon that had just stumbled into their fancy store that, you know, sells $10,000 purses, right? So facial recognition in stores, and if that's not enough, Ford Motor Company is planning on installing facial recognition systems into the car. That's right. It's so hard to just change the radio station, uh, you know, to adjust the seat in the rear view mirror to your own personal preference uh, when someone else has been driving the car or if you're sharing a car with your spouse or with somebody else. Uh, so you need your car to have a facial recognition scanner in there to identify you as soon as you sit down, and then it'll automatically adjust the seat, the rear view mirror, and the radio to your preferences. That's right. You don't need to think about it anymore. Thinking is so difficult. Just go get your Wi-Fi water bottle and your smart fork, and everything will be just fine. The Orwellian insanity idiocracy nightmare continues to unfold as the technology is doing the thinking for the general public. Most of the smart cars now are incorporating automatic braking systems, rear view cameras, uh, accident assist steering recovery technology. It's just so hard to just pay attention on the road. I mean, after all, you got to text 
You gotta, you gotta check your Facebook when you're flying down the freeway at 60, 70 miles an hour. Well, instead of just paying attention, uh, we'll just have the new smart cars pay attention for you. Let your brain just relax. You're thinking too much. Just let the Luciferian, artificially intelligent singularity system think for you. Just go on a permanent mental vacation. Your life will be so much better. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Check out some of the previous videos in the playlist. Check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. It's not available in stores, but you can get it at Amazon.com. Have it delivered in just a couple days or download it right now onto any tablet, any e-reader. Kindle, iBooks, Sam, uh, Nook, Google Play, etc. Where I outline the uh, history of facial recognition and how the Rockefeller family, by the way, uh, really created it, funding a man who gave birth to it, Joseph Attic, in the early 1990s with a scholarship to Rockefeller University. So, if you're finally awakening, if you're coming of age and starting to realize this Orwellian nightmare New World Order that you're unfortunately going to have to be uh, participating in, get yourself up to speed, check out the book, uh, get yourself a copy today. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.